Hello there, this is Rom Wills coming back at you with yet another video. The real issue black men have with swirlers. And um, this video is in response to a young man's video. Um, his name is King Riches. And check out his channel. Check, check out this channel. This is an up and coming young brother he's um he's from britain and he had he has some powerful information y'all need y'all need to check it out and you know just in general we need to be supporting each other and especially the brothers who are trying to bring good information yeah we we can have all these videos going in on whoever but also you have several brothers out there including king riches who is bringing videos just to help other black men especially navigate life and I'm, I'm, I'm and quite frankly I'm quite sure any uh, healthy man can get something from the videos but definitely show some love to this brother sub him and uh, check out what he has to offer now um, the video I'm responding to is black women love average white men but reject average black men and you know he was uh check it out i don't want to rehash it here um i want y'all to go over to his page and really check out the video but and i i watched it and i you know i left a message i said i would do a, a response and it's not a just to be clear it's not a rebuttal or anything and the reason i'm even dealing with the issue now i've i've dealt i've done a couple of swirling videos and one the first one it was it was more in a serious vein just saying hey they you know they got game too and you know especially of many white men and many white men know it they they know it because they've told me and the second one was just clowning even though some people took it seriously I was just clowning I just had fun because for the most part if I'm not tripping over a woman who doesn't want me personally but, but, that is an issue that many, many of uh, my subscribers have hit me up with privately. They, they're always saying, Rom, when are you going to approach that issue? When are you going to talk about that issue? And it's just like, <laughs> I don't really care, man. But, I just want to put my two cents out there about this. See, the issue that uh, King Riches approached and also I'm talking about today is the real reason many black men have a problem with swirling and I'm a, here's the interesting part it's something black women can relate to because they have said the same thing to me just in another version and I'll get to that later on but basically when brothers see these sisters talking about oh I'm gonna get me a white man I'm gonna get me a white man they ain't not getting a Brad Pitt type of white man or that tall alpha male type of white man the tall rich alpha they really not I don't care what they're saying they, look people got eyes they getting that that educated or that they getting that white man who in the black if that person was black would be called an educated lane and that's where the issue is and with the brothers, it's not so much they're getting with the white man. Many brothers know at least one white man who's going out with a black woman. And they cool with it because the dude is cool. But it's when you have these sisters and they will, on one hand, do entire videos talking about calling black some black men educated lames or nerds or whatever corny. Yet, will turn around and get with a white man who has the exact same traits that's that and that's what really annoys the brothers now if you know these women were calling black men lame corny and all of that nerdy and all of that but then got with that cool type of white man that alpha male white man that like i don't know even that street thug type of white man then the brothers might be like you know what okay <laughs> all right can't mess with it you're being consistent but when you reject one group of men 
based on certain characteristics but take another group of men who have the exact same characteristics then that's where the resentment really comes in that's where the resentment truly comes in and like I said black women they, they can't really argue with that because one of the things I have heard constantly since the 80s I've heard this constantly from several black women and they, they've looked me in my eye. This wasn't something online or I read in a message board. This is something they, I have had black women look me in the eye and say, Rom, if you get with a white woman, at least let her be beautiful. And they straight up and that, that's been the consistent thing. And what some have told me, this is what some black women have told me. And whether or not they were telling the truth, I, I don't know, but I felt they were sincere. And they, what they have told me was, it's not so much when a black man gets with a white woman, but it's when they get with a fat, disgusting white woman or some lower class white woman. What they have told me is it makes them feel bad. And you know what? I get it. I get it. That, that's fair. My thing is this. One thing a lot of black women have to understand is if they feel that way about the type of uh, white women that a brother get with, well, what makes them think that black men collectively who care about this don't feel the same way? Stop and think about that. And that, that's really all it is. That's where, the, that's where any real anger comes from. Because sisters, and for the sisters listening, and I know a lot of y'all listen to this channel, think about how often you see, think about what happens when you see that brother who has what you want. You know, he's fine, he dresses well, he looks like he has a, a little bit of sense has that edge but you see him with some plain white woman not even a fat white woman just a plain one yeah I get salty right well that's exactly what the brothers are that's exactly where the brothers are coming from that's that is exactly how they're feeling and like I said it wouldn't be so bad if you see a sister get with a real like you know an alpha male type of white male it's like shit you can't mess with that <laughs> it's like okay and plus like I said sometimes white guys are cool they, they might be like oh okay but then when you see a sister like I've known some sisters and I've actually known some sisters I'm cool with them but I've known that they were getting with the top notch type of brothers consistently but then when they want to settle down, it's like it's like that lame type of white guy. It's like that nerdy type of white guy that even other white women don't want. That's where brothers get mad. Now, I know I have uh, some uh, white male subscribers or at least people who watch this. Um, this is no shade against y'all. This, this really isn't. And it's not even a shade against... Uh, like any type of swirler and stuff but it's just really just calling out the hypocrisy because then you have to wonder what's the real deal because think about it one of the main arguments of swirlers is that brothers aren't doing this that and the third or that if a you know and then you know they'll pass over some dude who has certain traits that might not be considered as cool or is average or whatever whatever the case okay but then when you get with someone of another race who has the exact same traits then you have to say okay what's that really about I mean I could see if the person had opposite traits but that's not the case because hey, look let's be real let's be real with most of y'all swirlers most of y'all ain't encountering street dudes like that or bums like that. Most of y'all have some level of education. Most of y'all aren't encountering the so-called thug like that. 
Let's be real. I mean, I, I got to give that to black women. A lot of y'all not encountering thugs like that. You know? Most of y'all are, are encountering the educated type of men if y'all educated yourselves because you went to college with them. You're probably working in corporate America with them. So you, you can't say, oh, well, I'm just encountering a bunch of bums. No, you're encountering the same type of black man that, you know, the same, who has the same traits as the white men that you're feming over. And that's what brothers are like, whatever. And like I said, I reiterate what I said. Sisters have told me, they've looked me in the eye and told me. They've said, hey, Rom, if you get with a white woman, make sure she's fine. Well, shoot. And I understood where they were coming from. So this is how brothers are feeling. So I'm just putting that out there. Now, I know just to head off some people, I know some commenters are going to come into the comments and, you know, just say, oh, well, we don't care. And some women going to feel like, oh, yo, what is so bad? Look, the whole issue, the issue is really just the hypocrisy. That's it. That's really it. It's the hypocrisy and it's just being accountable. And just say, you know what, honestly, and I might, I'll get around to doing a part two on this. Uh, just say you just wanted that white man <laughs> or that Asian man or whatever you want. Just say that, okay? Because that's, that's where the real issue with all of this is. Just say you wanted that particular person, all right? That you were physically attracted to that white skin or uh, that cultural paradigm, whatever they represented. So anyway. That's it. Talk to y'all later. Oh, and be sure and visit King Riches and sub that brother. Hook him up. Talk to y'all later. Peace.